and here's Whisper. It's one of the more interesting ones, ones that's been implemented at the moment. So when you type in a Whisper command, you type in Whisper space the person you want to whisper to's name space and then the message. So what we're doing here is we're parsing the second command of pdata, seeing as we already know the first one's whisper, we're parsing the second command of pdata, uh, setting the ver string variable name equal to that, uh, removing the the first and the second word, se second command from the string, which is actually the first and then the first again, so we're just left with the string that they wanted to send, and then we call whisper with the, the name and the message. So again, something similar. What we do here is we find if we find if the player is in the database and they're active, and if they are, we return the iterator to them, which points towards them. If there wasn't a player in the database who is active, it returns the iterator dot end, saying we can't find that user. Otherwise, we send the string to the which contains the name of your player, uh, the small appended text whispers to you or whispers or whatever you want it to be, and the string you the, the message you wanted to send them. It also outputs on your screen that you've, uh, using your player, that you've whispered to so-and-so, and the name as well, just to show that you've sent the message, a little bit of feedback. Uh, getting the who list is another interesting one, so I'll just go into this. So basically the first command is who, then we're going to parse the first, sorry, not the first, the second command, uh, we're going to parse that from the the input string to its own word and then convert it to lower case and pass into who list. This is to check if the message should be sent to all players or those just those who are logged in. So when we come down to who list, we can see that a string is going to be added to the start of it, so it shows just kind of some formatting. And then we have this who list. Sorry, a who list is a functor. So in the functor we've got, it's like a, a function pointer, but it's better because we can actually store member variables in it as well, instead of just having access to static variables. So in this case we've got a string we're storing. And the who lists operators, basically the function we're going to be calling, is has a player passed in, and this basically adds to the string whether they're online, inactive, and whatever. So it converts their name to string of length 17, their level to string of length 10, it then checks if the player is active, logged in, or whatever, and then changes the color of the and the output text that we're going to add to the string. Again, just something to use a, a switch, just checking which rank they are to change the color of the next bit of the string, which be to, so which we could display their rank. So if they're a regular, their rank would be written in white. God, it'll be written in yellow. Admin be written in green. We get the player's rank and get the the rank string from it and add, append that to the string, and then putting a, retu a return character anyway. So that's the the functor. So I'm just going to go back to game. So I'm just going to go back to sorry, uh, who list, not game. Uh, who list. Yeah, so uh, that's our who list who. So every time we call this function here, operate on if, it's going to return a function. So we're calling operate on if with our player database dot begin player database dot end uh, the who list function this here a uh, functor sorry and this is uh, for all so it's all players and it always player that's the the qualify there so it's basically if that if they're a player do it or in this one it's if only if they're logged in then we can add add them them to the string so I'll give you a little look at this function. It can be a bit confusing, but so basically we've got a, a loop that goes from the iterator begin to the iterator dot end and iterates through them here. We have our qualify, which is uh, we qualify if the beginning, uh, which th this qualify is actually uh, say we're using the second one. It's th if the player is logged in, so we're qualifying the first uh, player in our database to begin. So we're checking if that player is logged in. If they are, we call func begin which is our function that we passed in our functor that we passed in function so then it depends the string that we've just gone through for the who list and finally when it's all done it returns the func so let's close this when it, after it returns the func we receive them back here and with this string up here we have this 
we simply append the functors string to it, which has our list of all the online uh, users that we've got just gone through. <laughs> it's kind of confusing and di a bit difficult to explain, but if you get your head around it, it's a really handy way of programming with functors and all that. So I'll go through one more of these commands. I think I'll try to kick one. There we go, kick. Okay, so if our first command was kick and the player's rank is greater than or equal to a god, we can uh, check if it's greater than or equal to, in this case, because god is an enumeration and uh, a player was before it, so it's like 0, 1, 2 for our administ 2 would be an administrator. Okay, here seeing as when we type in kick, we have to do space and the player's name we want to kick, we are going to check for our second command, which is this again. And we're just going to check if they're fine. We get the, the player's name from this, check if they're logged in, and if they are, we're going to uh, check they're logged in, we're going to get a pointer back to wherever they are. If the pointer points to the end of the database, they're not logged in or they're, it couldn't be found, and we send a string back to the user that it couldn't be found. Otherwise, we're going to check if the person we want to kick's rank is greater than the player's rank who, <laughs> who tried kicking them. I mean, like you, you can't have a god kicking in an, an, an administrator. Uh, if it's not, then we simply just come down to the next part. We check. We use the uh, the iterator to access the the player and their connection, and we close them. So it basically closes the player's connection and kicks them from the game. So and then we send a logout message to everyone in the game, telling them that so and so has been kicked by you. Okay. I'll actually show you uh, one more admin, uh, well, two more commands. I'll show you the, uh, an administrator command for uh, shutting shutting the server down, and I'll show you the, the leave command, and then go over a few more things before I finish up. So the shutdown command is really simple. It just uh, announces to everyone in the server that the game is shutting down, sets the game running defaults, and returns from it. So it shuts the server down. I'll show you the announce now. The announce is basically just whatever uh, string you've passed in, another send a global message of uh, type cyan, color cyan, bold, the announcement and the message. And the send global, as we were saying earlier, it just sends a message to everyone who's logged in. So. Yeah, for the leave one. Quit. Quit is simple as well. It's, it's the same as similar to someone getting kicked, except you're doing it yourself. You type in quit. It does your connection. It closes your connection, and it sends a logout message to everyone else, telling them that you've left the realm. So the, all the other commands are along the pretty similar idea. I myself actually have an, an idea for uh, translating a lot of commands. It's similar to what we were using here. It's uh, so if the, the player enters, say, uh, take T, grab, pick up, you want it pretty much to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a map of the ID, which would be, uh, sorry, not the ID, the key, which would be, say, take, grab, pick up, all that stuff, and they all point to the same command, which would be T. So that's what it returns. So if the user types in any of those, we'll always have the same command, and we only have to check for a limited amount of things then. And ideally, this... Uh, map will be populated from a, a text file so just something simple with you know the key on the left side and the command on the right side or something along those lines so now just to finish up with the game handler I'll show you the other types of things that are called if a player gets well this is sorry called when the player attempts to leave the connection so when they type quit earlier on it, it closes their connection it always comes in it sets the player to fall uh, that they're not active anymore and if their connection has been closed, it calls playerdatabase.logout, which outputs it outputs that the player is logged off to the log file, uh, ensures that the connection's closed, they've they're not logged in, they're not they're not active, and then saves the player to the database. Now, hung up. This happens if, uh, if something happens to a connection and we can't receive any more data from it or send any more to it. So, it's pretty much just calls calls the logout function uh, with the player's name.
again, I'll get function is simply something to send a message to everyone in the game. Using a similar the operate on if file again on if again. Just this time it starts at the player da uh, player as database dot begin dot end and it sends in the functor player send instead. Which is which one is it? This one. No, it's the other one. Oh, it's, sorry, it's pretty much just this. Player send just comes in, and the functor that's used is p dot send string. Yeah. And the only the last one I want to go through is game flooded. This happens if a player sends a message that's uh, too large for the server, so it basically just kicks them and sends a logout message to everyone. And if you want to see. Uh, when the input's more than this, it's in. It's actually in the connection manager. Which uh, look at it here. It's with the input <laughs> in the listen pro in the listen in the listen part of the connection manager. When we get down here, if it checks if the current data rate is more than the max data rate allowable, and if it is, it closes the connection and calls the handlers flooded, which would then, if you're in game, it would call this one and log out, uh, kick them for flooding and it would send a message to all the other players. Just something to note as well that uh, when we leave this game and we close the connection we aren't returned to the login screen because there's no longer any handler there and we're fully closing the connection so it goes back to the Telnet client. So now I'll actually just show you a little demo of the server running. So if I uh, find this, there's our server up. I'm going to go to start and start my Telnet. I'm going to always uh, open is for connecting. The server is running on my own computer, so I'm going to go to the home address. And the port was 5100. As you can see, I'm connected to the server. I've got the the input sc uh, screen coming in from the login handler. Sorry, yeah, the logon handler. So I'm a new player, so I'm going to type in new. It says I'm typing the desired name, Chris. Password, I'm going to one two three four five six so you guys don't know my password <laughs> and then it takes us out of the login handler passes to the game handler which then passes us on to the uh, training handler so then we can put in our stats and you can see as I was saying earlier on the clear screen command works when, when you do the send string clear screen so it's not moving down so it's just putting a load of stats type quit when you're ready and it'll send you into the realm. So, just to show you the chat working, I'm going to start up another client. Do open to seven dot one five one dot dot. New again. Uh, and I'm in the I'm in the training again. Uh, quit. On this one, it just says test has entered the RAM, and on this one, the person who was already in the server, in the server, it's co it came up first. First of all, that I had entered the RAM, then that test had entered the RAM. Test left left the RAM though when he went to the training RAM, and then he's come back in. So if I type in this one, hey test, it comes up in our global chat. It sends to everyone. So if I want to whisper. I type in whisper, test, hey, and it whispers only to test, it wouldn't display it to anybody else on the server. Uh, some other commands like the who list, type who, as I was saying it runs through them all, create uh, with the functor and creates the string, and then does it again for the other person. So this is basically just uh, some of the, b the basic things that we're, we're going to need for our game, and it's pretty handy to have a, a sample made so that we can kind of go back to and use things from it and even build up from this. So that's going to bring me to the end of my video. If you have any other questions that you'd like to ask me about it, just post them in the, the comments and the forums. Like even if you want to know how to, a function works in this that hasn't been, I haven't gone through, you can just ask Wayne, I'll try and answer it as best I can. I know I've, I kind of flew through a couple of the functions but I'm a little bit strapped for time. So. Just to finish off, I'll just quit on this one. Connection lost the host. Chris has left the RAM. Close them down. 
So I hope you I hope you liked the video and that's me done for today.